Where did it come from, Seven? A cross-out reference video by Dangerously Incompetent. Another month, another Where Did It Come From video. This time, we're starting off with a customization pack from the shop. Not the night pack, because none of these parts are tradable. Boring. No, we're going to have a look at this pack. Exhaust pipes from Doomsday Cars which includes the chimney pipe, tradable, exhaust module, tradable, supercharger, tradable, and it answers a question because in uh, Enemy of My Enemy, which is an expansion, well, a season follow-on from the original Founders season of Return of the Founders, uh, but it didn't include any of the Founders of the Found Return of the Founders decor stickers or paints, and I've been wondering whether they're going to make a return. And this pack answers that question because these three parts all came from Doomsday Cars. So I guess in the future we can expect to see stickers and paints from all the old seasons returning in little customization packs in the shop. So why you would buy these three in this customization pack is beyond me because you can buy all three of these on the market they're readily available There's still loads of them around and you can buy the lot where is it the exhaust module and the chimney pipe and the supercharger you can buy the lot all three of them you only get one of each in the pack insta buy them for a hundred coins and you can buy a hundred coins in the shop for 20 cross crowns so you could buy 20 cross crowns and then go to the market and buy them and you come out ahead and that's insta buying come out ahead from buying the pack <laughs> why would you do that maybe you're lazy <laughs> maybe you're impulsive but you know be warned these these uh, uh, customization packs don't seem to be very good value. Watch out, Death's turned up in a deluxe vehicle on sale for cross crown for a limited period only. Well, before we look at that uh, deluxe pack, let's look at the regular Death, shall we? So we know what we're getting extra. And here's the regular one, Horseman of the Apocalypse. You can buy it in a pack of four and save yourself a bit of money. Epitaph paint, which is ooh, a bit like corrosion-y, rusty, yeah, several like that. But that's unique to this pack. And the sticker, Pale Horse, that's unique to this pack. Lovely. Um, twin Exhaust, yeah, that's not unique to this pack, but it is unique to packs. Always a favourite for salvaging if the price drops for high, low enough, and then use the resources or sell the resources. The cool that is unique to this pack, and it's the drone and turret cabin. Drop them and boost your speed and the whole vehicle's resistance to damage. So drop, drop your turrets, drop your drones, and then cheese it and get shot up, but not suffer that much damage. The rest is all craftable. Not a lot of, oh yeah, there is quite a bit of structure on it, but yeah, stuff. And out of fender, that comes in the decal container, so that's not unique to this pack. Midnight paint is not not unique to this pack, but it's used in a lot of other packs, but and is unique to packs. And the round brake light, which comes in the decal container. So not an awful lot, other than the cabin. It's mostly cabin, and then a paint and a sticker. Now let's see what's in the deluxe death pack. What do we get extra for being deluxe? That may, makes it worthwhile looking at this time-limited offer. Well, there's no epitaph paint. Instead, we get cold steel. Ooh, shiny, with rivets on panels. I don't believe I've got one of them. I'll have to 
look at that, keep an eye on that price as it goes down and down and down and will probably continue going down long after the offer has uh, gone away from the shop. Twin Exhaust is in the regular pack. Black Charm, that's a sticker unique to this pack. Ooh, a bunch of horned skulls. Yes, black on transparent. And another unique sticker, Black Omen. I don't know what that's supposed to be, other than cool, but there you go. If you like it, here it is. Get it now while its price is going down. The Cool Cabin, which is in the other pack, the regular pack. Then we have craftable, all craftable stuff that we can make anyway off the faction workbenches. Then Out of Fender, which is in the regular pack and in the decor container. Midnight Paint, which is in the regular pack and in lots of other packs, but is unique to packs. And Round Brake Light, which comes in the decor container. So not much different. You lose one paint and gain another. Lose one sticker and gain two stickers. That's the deluxe pack over the regular pack. Hmm. Not a lot to get excited about. And I was ex death. Why? Why isn't there you know a sticker with a scythe on it or something? Cross scythe. Hmm. Anywho, that's it for this pack. Tis the season to empty your wallet. Tra la 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 la. What's this in the shop? It's a new pack. Not a player choice. That one. New Year's Junior. One day, twelve hours. That's not been on for long. Unless I missed it coming on. But it, yes, that's 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 terrible. <laughs> Why would you want to buy this pack? Maximum number of parts increased to 35. <sighs> or 500 in-game coins is probably the thing. But it's got some tradable stuff. On it, uh, come on. a little something that's tradable, and it's uh, ooh. wrapping paper, really, isn't it? Gold stars on a glossy red, lovely. That's been out before. I believe it's a pack exclusive, possibly snowstorm, but I wouldn't be uh, able to tell you. So, was it a little something? The paint, right? Uh, and then also we have From the Forest, which has been around before, I believe. Ooh. Again, it could be a pack exclusive or it could be a snowstorm. But it's definitely been out before, but it hasn't been in coming into the game for ages. So a bit of decor there. A bit of Christmassy tree. And what's its price doing? Well, it had been going up and suddenly it comes in. And, well, now it's going down. <laughs> For some reason, yes. So that and yeah, nothing else in the pack. That's it. Everything else is craftable or but obtainable by reputation. There was something else in the shop. Where has it gone? It was customization. There we are. Customization pack. Customization pack. Customization pack. Well, that's. It's an original name. I mean, you could call it Desert Dweller or something, couldn't you? But anyway, it comes with a portrait, whoop de doo and a paint, Memento, which is, well, sort of dark grey with splotches. That's definitely been, been around before, but I can't remember where it comes from. Probably exclusive to packs. But there you go. No, it came in again recently. I think it was. Uh, is it, in one? it is in one of the packs. I don't know. Sorry, I don't know where it came from. And I. Do you really want to watch me? Ah, let's go have a look, shall we? Have a quick look in the packs. For anything that looks like that, shall we? No. 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 Oh, I didn't purchase that. That was a code. Yeah, a freebie code. Uh, no. Nope. 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 Ooh, ooh, maybe. Nope. 
There are lots of pa packs these days, aren't there? Loads and 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 loads. Well, can't sit to put it in the pack. So I can't remember where on earth Memento came from. If you know, uh, let me know on my Discord, will you? Link in the description below. Cheers. And now in the final portion of this video, Holy Motors Rewards, or at least those which are tradable. That's upgraded so it's not tradable. Black Square Sticker, basic geometric shapes in a single colour. Marvellous, just what the artist ordered. They're going to be popular after the initial flood of hundreds and hundreds of them coming onto the market. And anyway, I haven't gone to trade, yeah, hasn't dropped below ooh, two yet. Has been out a few weeks, well, a couple of weeks, more than a couple of weeks. And then white square, so it's black and white for the basic geometric shapes. Lovely. M25 Guardian, frontal machine gun. There's a blueprint for this Holy Motors workbench. But after Holy Motors finishes, it's not going to be around anymore unless you've got still got your four work pieces. Is rarity going to drive up its price after Holy Motors finishes? Uh, not, not so much, I don't think. Because for the price to go up, there's got to be demand. People have got to be wanting to buy it. And it's not proving that popular, I don't think. Where is it? No, I have to look on the market. Don't there we are. Look at that. Trade. See? You can buy it for 115 and that, I think, is just about cheaper than it costs to craft, to buy the resources to craft it. So it's not that popular. Will it go up after? Yeah, not so much, I think. Next. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, there's a tradable one. Fog headlights. Six headlights. Six squares per... Six squares long. Yep. That's tradable. So that's where this came from, if you ever want to know. You're puzzling away. More stickers. Black circle sticker. Lovely. White circle sticker. Predictable. Uh, da, da, da. Tempura. Although you can get work pieces for it. It appeared on the Syndicate workbench. Well, if you haven't done, weren't there for the Syndicate season, you, you won't have it on your workbench, but lots of people do. So... That's gonna not gonna go up because of rarity, is it? Plus, everyone's got the work pieces now. Um, black corner and white corner. Jolly good. Wings of hope. There's another hologram to add to my list of holograms I'd like to have at some point, but I'm not willing to spend. 460 coins on it. It's obvious it's going down. There's lots of people wanting to sell it, but they can't because it's price locked. Yay! Get price corridors gone. The averter. Ooh, controversial part. Making other bits tougher, more durability. But it's hard to use. It's hard to get more than like two pieces on it. You can get your two. If you've got your two guns on the back of your, behind your, hidden behind your cabin. You can get them on them because there's only so many power squares on it. Again, craft as many as you like now on the Holy Motors workbench, but afterwards you're restricted to a, to um, work pieces, and it's not proving that popular either. I thought it'd be very popular, but then it's hard to connect to stuff. So I bet guess people are trying it out and going, uh, it's lovely, but it's only getting it on one or two parts that I, I want it on more. Is it worth that one point of energy? What's it doing in the market? And this is why people can make it. Uh, it's just been going down. Down, 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 down. Uh, it's not profitable to craft it and sell it at the moment. Will it be in the future? Possibly, possibly. What's next? Oh, another sticker. Black triangle sticker. 
and white triangle sticker. What's this? Oh, Hermit SD, which is work pieces for the same, but you could, well, if you unlock them on, oh, I forget what season it is, Doom Cars maybe, you could unlock them for the Firestarters workbench. So there's plenty of those bits still being made. Heavy Sky, a tradable paint, and it's grey with blotchy bits, dark grey with lighter grey blotches, and <laughs> another one. <laughs> um, work Gravistar, no workbench for it, but work pieces, if you didn't unlock it already and have it sitting on your Dawn's Children. Workbench, next, dot, 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 dot. Nova. Is that unlocked in the season? I can't remember now. It's certainly on the Dawn's Children workbench. Well, I've got it on there. But with, I don't think you unlocked it. Or did you? I can't remember. Sorry. Uh, paint. Steel coating. So silvery with a bit of pattern on it. Can we see the pattern? There. Sort of rivets in rectangular sort of pattern. Okay. Jolly good. Oh look, is it? Is it? Oh, it's not quite price locked. Amazing. And piece de resistance of the season, I think. The master cabin. So you got a blueprint, so you can craft as many as you want now. Profitable to craft now, but I don't think many people have unlocked it. <laughs> so that's why it's profitable. Will it be profitable in the future? I think it probably will. I haven't tried out the cabin, mind you. But you'd be able to repair yourself. Sounds juicy, doesn't it? Mm. Definitely going to make myself one of those. And probably worth a punt. Because after the, the season ends, it's only work pieces around. But I might not have the resources and the cash spare to make extra as an investment. I'll just have to rely on the work pieces. But then there's always the question, how long is it going to be before it comes back again? Or work pieces come back again? Or a workbench comes back again? Or will people run out of their work pieces before it comes back? Maybe, maybe not. Depends how often people upgrade them, I suppose. Uh, next, dumpy 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 dum, the waltz. Again, not going on any permanent uh, workbenches, relying on people's work pieces, but tradable. I haven't tried it yet. Um, well, there's the picture on the front. Now, given it's holy motives is all all about fighting the ravagers, you just exp I'd expected a few. Um, Decor pieces and maybe some paints or stickers for Ravager, but there's none. <laughs> there's only this, which is a decoration for your range, yeah, your test range. So you can't, and it's not tradable, so I'm not interested in it really. But it looks nice. Be nice to have that on your car, but look a bit big, I suppose, unless you're not punting it around on your Leviathan. And that's your lot. So that's it for this Where Did It Come From 7 video, but you can't wait for the next one. <laughs>